there's a girl on the phone, I think we can expect the guardy. Tell him about climate gate. Copenhagen Conference on Global Warming is on at the moment and it's going to be concluded at the end of this week, going to be concluded tomorrow. And they're supposedly trying to solve a problem of the climate change, the planet temperature increasing because of man-made CO2 emissions. Three weeks ago, three or four weeks ago, it's, it was revealed that the Climate Research Unit in the University of East Anglia have been manually adjusting the figures to make it look as if there's an increase in temperature when in fact the temperature has gone down for the last nine years. And overall, they've been adjusting the trends. This has been backed up yesterday by Russians who have said that they've adjusted, the, the Climate Research Unit has adjusted and um, failed to include all the figures that the Russians have supplied them. Um, NASA's figures are also under dispute now because it's emerging that they're, dispute, they're tampering with the data. So what, what's coming into the public eye now, well, on the internet, but not on, on stations like putting, yourselves. Who's putting the false information out there? Who's putting the false information yeah. out? Scientists like Phil Jones, Michael Mann, um, and, and who are they representing, sorry? They represent, they work for the Climate Research Unit at the University of East Anglia, which is one of the four sources of temperature data for the IPCC, the International Panel on Climate Change. Um, the International Panel on Climate Change is advising governments all around the world that man-made CO2 emissions are causing a disastrous um, rise in temperatures. The temperature data has been fudged, and it's, we're not causing a disastrous rise in temperature. And what's coming to light here is a very sinister scheme to introduce a global carbon tax to supposedly solve this emissions problem, which is supposedly causing the world to come into a, an imminent disaster, and it's not true. Now, this is not just my opinion, this has been comprehensively blown out of the water over the last three to four weeks. It's all over the internet, it's all over the American news. So the news. information that we're getting here from the experts in Copenhagen wrong, is that what you're saying? It's coerced, it's, it's, That's it's, what I, they're coming at us from an angle, they're trying to trick us. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that the information which is coming from one of the four sources 
of data for the International Panel on Climate Change who are giving us our information. It's corrupt, and it's not just corrupt, it's criminally corrupt. It's not a mistake, and it's not just a small bit of information taken out of context. These people should be under criminal investigation, and Senator Inhofe in America is calling for, for criminal investigation. Lord Monk, They're lying to us. They're lying to us. The scientists who are supplying well, the IPCC... What's your background? Where did you find all this out? I found out, I'm a member of the public, I found it out because I'm, I, I don't blindly listen to everything that's on the mainstream media because unfortunately I found that it's not giving us the full story on a lot of issues, particularly this one. And this one is very important at the moment because they're trying to... Why aren't these scientists jumping and shouting from the rooftops like yourselves with megaphones? They if are. This is the case? They are. They are. They are. They are. They are. Why aren't you reporting? There's 31,000 of them in, in the United States that have come together in a, in a lawsuit against Al Gore for, for falsifying figures and uh, completely altering all the numbers. So they're saying Al Gore was a liar, because I was under Al the impression you boys would be on the same side as him. No, no. Well, the, the issue is Al Gore is a front man. Al Gore is a used car salesman. <laughs> so, but is he not trying to spread an environmental message, a good message? From I assume you would think that was no, a good message. What Al Gore is doing is... It's, it's more of a payoff. Uh, Al Gore devised this system 20 years ago with yeah. Kenneth Lay. Kenneth Lay worked for Enron, before, and now even Al Gore would admit, oh, you know, I didn't realise he was a crook back then. But, um, we all know what happened with Enron. With, uh, was it an 80 billion fraud in California? But uh, yeah, this system was designed 20 years ago before the uh, issue of climate ever really hit the mainstream news. So it's not like it all of a sudden came into being. They knew what they were doing. This. This whole um, issue of... So an Inconvenient Truth, Al Gore's movie was just a big fat lie, is that what you're saying? The Inconvenient Truth movie was actually taken into court in Britain and um, the judge ruled that there were a dozen falsehoods in the movie, significant, significant falsehoods, and it should not um, go on release without a warning. Now, that has, the warning has never gone into the film, but, and it's been shown in schools as propaganda but for years, and it really shouldn't, because they've never given the warning that, in fact, it contains things that are lies. For instance, him saying, um, him saying that uh, polar bears were dying, when in fact there's now 40,000 of them. But, you know, their, their numbers have gone up. And the reason that they were dying is because of hunting methods. <laughs> they changed the hunting methods, and up went the population. All right. The, the other thing was, I mean, the biggest thing about his movie was the main graph. Do you remember the main graph? CO2 temperature, yeah. and it said, don't those, ever, don't those two ever fit together? And uh, yes, they did fit together, but what he wasn't telling you was that the carbon dioxide went up and the temperature followed it. It wasn't the other way around. Sorry, the other way around. <laughs> he said the carbon dioxide went up and the temperature followed it, but it was actually the other way around. And if you ask every single ice core data scientist and geologist in the world, they will agree that temperature goes up 800 years before yeah. carbon dioxide. So the carbon dioxide you're seeing in the air now... I'm going to be honest. Yes. You're blinding me with science. I'm yes. confused. <laughs>